Hello everyone. Um, so basically, instead of doing a normal film project, since that's kind of been impossible due to obvious recent events that I'm sure everyone is acutely aware of, um, my teacher asked if we could do these sort of Corona Diaries. Basically what that means is how our lives have been, specifically my life has been ever since the virus started and we've been stuck at home. So yeah, this is basically what I've been up to. So the big question, what have I been up to? Uh, very little. What else am I gonna do? Lumberton is this little nothing town. About ten minutes away from Beaumont. And it's where I've called home for most of my life. It's not much, you know? It's every small town you've ever driven by in America. I've lived in Lumberton for almost 20 years now, and, like, I know. I know there's nothing. And, you know, just seeing all these empty streets, these empty parking lots, these empty places. Like, if there was one thing Lumberton had, it was cars and traffic everywhere. It really puts it into perspective. And I mean, this virus just came at the worst possible time for me. For a multitude of reasons, uh, one of which being the movies that me and my good friends were making for our 412 film class. We put a lot of time into making these movies as good as they possibly could be, and they were shaping up to be very good. They all had good scripts, they all had good lighting, good camera work, they all looked great. The acting was on point. Everything was shaping up to work in our favor. And we got so far on most of them. But you know, some things happened and we said we'd come back and finish up what little we had left after spring break. And now we have to wait till the fall. And we're probably going to have to change a lot of things because locations might look different, people might look different. We might have to rework things and, you know, that's just how it is. Plus cover, Tiny Rage, plus shipping. How is that? Well, I really have no need for a weed eater. And, you know, the biggest insult to injury was that I had literally just gotten done being very, very sick myself. Pretty much an entire month, I was incredibly sick. Uh, it wasn't corona, at least that's what they told me. It was just good old fashioned bronchitis. And it was really awful. I just had to devote so much time to getting better. And then finally, finally, I have this whole week to just sit down and stay inside and do nothing and then I get better and the world shuts down and talk about bad luck I think what really just stung the most was having my semester with my fraternity brothers cut short and for a lot of reasons uh, the sickness obviously and having to take off time to make my movies i i just haven't had i've had to cancel a lot of five sci events and that's just really disappointing but you know the best thing about procrastinating on editing your project until the night before is that something will come up that undermines a lot of your moody footage texas is about to uh open up 
And, you know, it's a little annoying that I kind of had to do a little work around in the edit, but I'm just glad that things are finally getting back to normal. I know this is different, but I hope it was at least a little bit enjoyable. And I can't wait to see everyone in person again.